Hello, welcome to the first episode of a new series called Nick Linda's Novel Reviews, where I review novels, basically. For right now, I'm going to only review Star Trek and Star Wars novels, okay? The first ever book to be graced this, this, this series is Star Wars Dark Disciple, written by Christine Golden, an adaptation of at least eight episodes, uh, unproduced episodes from Star Wars Clone Wars series. And these episodes are Lethal Alliance, The Mission, Conspirators, Dark Disciple, Strong Boss, Parts 1 and 2, Traitor, and The Path. Basically, one of the big selling points of this particular book is the relationship between um, Quentin Voss and Asha Ventress. I'm more familiar with her than Quentin Voss, because Quentin Voss only appeared for like maybe one or two episodes of the Clone Wars series, while she appeared for a good chunk of the series. Now, when you read this book, you're hearing the actress, basically, who played her in the Star Wars Clone Wars series. Not much for Quentin Voss. I can't exactly pick, picture who actually voiced him, but he did an okay job. I'm not really familiar with the character all that much, but who is not familiar with Ash Ventress? Now, apparently in this book, by the time this book, uh, of course, this book takes place in the unproduced uh, uh, episodes of Season 6, and it's canon with the... Star Wars movies. It takes place before Episode 3, and um, there is a major shocker in this book. One of these characters dies in this book. Okay? I'm not going to say who, but one dies. And this does happen. This, by far, is a really good novel. Christine Golden does a fantastic job writing these two characters very well. I'm the first books I read by her was basically when she wrote some Voyager books. Uh, the first book I read by her, particularly, was a, was the book adaptation of the series finale of Star Trek Voyager Endgame. And after reading half of books, she's a really good writer, I get credit for that. But she did a fantastic job with this book, and you can feel that this book took over eight episodes. Now, if these episodes ever aired, these take up a good chunk of a season. But, uh, yeah, and the reason why these episodes weren't produced was because Disney canceled Star Wars The Clone Wars, a fantastic series, by the way, though it had a slow start, but eventually got got, got good. And Asha Ventures was one of the best villains in the show. Oh, and on the show, she does, uh, Dooku turns against her, she becomes a, a member of the Night Sisters, and, she, and the last time she's seen, she becomes a bounty hunter. And on the back of the cover, she has one lightsaber. Even though last time she was seen, she had her two lightsabers when she was a Sith, a Sith assassin. And this is all about, mainly, it's Quentin working with her, her to do one thing. Assassinate Count Dooku. Yes, the Jedi Council actually orders that particular thing. This meant the plot twist over the course of the book. Um, I can't exactly show artwork like I do with, with the graphic novels. But... This is the only artwork I can show you right here. This is fantastic book art right here. Um, I would definitely recommend this basically who was a Star Wars fan. Um, what what we're reading of this book? I give this book a 9 out of 10. It is really dang good. It is possibly by far one of the best Star Wars novels that I have ever read. Of all the canon books, I mean, there have been a few. Um... For some people, this is up there with books like Lord of the Sith and Tarkin. Now, this is the first, this is one of two things, one of two known type of story things, where they adapt uh, things from unproduced episodes series. The other, course, is the Dark Horse comic book, which is the only thing from Dark Horse that is canon, and that's Darth Maul's Son of Demir. Uh, and, of course, there is references to the series, the, the final uh, episodes of the series. There's many references to that throughout the course of this book. Uh, there's reference to uh, the Night Sisters Massacre, which happens, I think, in Season 3 or 4. Uh, there's a reference to um, Boris Office. There's many references in here. Basically, anybody who was a fan of that series would love this book. Anyone who's a Star Wars fan would love this book. If you love Ash of Etrus, she's in this book. Uh, definitely. Uh, Open Kamei and Skywalker in the book, too. But they're like, they're like supporting characters. These two are the spotlight characters in this book. Okay, 
So I definitely recommend you get this and try out the other books. There isn't that many of them. There's only about, uh, I think about five other books besides this one. Yeah, there isn't even that many. I mean, the next book to come out is Aftermath, which I'm hearing a lot of Star Wars fans looking forward to. Okay? Yeah, the way things go, everything that comes out as of right now is canon. And this book is canon. Okay? So get this book definitely. All right? That's it for this episode of Nick Landis' Novel Reviews. Um, stay tuned whenever I get a chance to another one. It takes a, it takes a lot longer to read these novels than it is to read a graphic novel. So it might be a little while. It might take about a week or two uh, before my next episode. Okay? So, see you there. Bye.